In the slug video, I showed how we could take these four nulls uh, that are moving along this path uh, using lead the follower. I showed how we could turn those using surface voxels into this little slug creature. Okay. Now what I'd like to show you is taking this setup but having it conform to a ground surface that's not flat. So in Modeler, I just created this basic little um, ground plane. Okay, I put some, some dips and some hills in it, and I'm going to send that over to Layout. Okay, and so now it's here. And of course, my nulls, we can barely see them because they're going underneath the ground. But I want them to conform to the ground, but I don't want to have to hand key the animation. So what I'm going to do is, with the ground selected, hit M for Motion Options, and under Add Modifier, I'm going to make it a sticky surface. Okay. Uh, with that selected, I'm going to go and select the slug null, the first null we created to drive the other nulls. And for add modifier, I'm going to make it sticky. Okay, let's close this for a second. And now we can see that our nulls are conforming to, our sticky null is conforming to the sticky surface. Okay, now because it's conforming, it's kind of pulling them a little farther apart than we had when it was just going in a straight line. So we start to get a little separation, but the, the voxels are still blending together. But what we might want to do is just adjust the lead to follower setting so that we don't have it break, up, break apart. So I'm going to hit M for motion options. And I'm going to go to um, the first null that is 15 frames ahead. And I'm going to change that to, let's say, 10 frames ahead. Then I'm going to go to the next null and change it to 6 frames ahead. And I'm going to go to the next null and change it to, let's say, 3 frames ahead. Okay. So what I did was I, I tightened these up a little bit so that we won't get the separation as it passes by. I'm going to go ahead and open up Viper. Uh, and I'm going to open up the hypervoxel panel okay, and we can see that our slug is now conforming to the ground. If we want to make a little preview I'm going to make a preview and so now instead of it just being flat it's conforming and you can see it bending right there okay, and then it's going to slope down and then it'll start sloping up. So using the ground as a sticky surface and then applying sticky to the the null that's leading all of the that's controlling all the other nulls allows us to let me just push play there we go allows us to you can even see it kind of twisting because they're the the nulls are aligning to the surface okay so this allows us to quickly animate over curved surfaces without having to hand key because it's going to stick the the sticky object is going to stick to the sticky surface so that's just a quick look at using the sticky and sticky surface motion options in the motion panel motion options panel and uh, uh, applying it to the little slug we made in the slug video